they have to park about a mile away and walk in. Now, a lot of people don't know where they can or can't park because they don't live in the area, so they don't understand the rules. So what they do, the farmer, who actually has the sheep and you know likes to let the sheep shit in the, the stones 24-7, 365, that farmer then blocks off laneways, laneways, access ways, and anything that looks like somewhere that somebody might actually want to drive because they pay for the taxes on those roads and they are able to drive up those roads. They're not private roads, yeah? yeah? And verges, verges off the edges of roads, which are actually, they're able to park on those verges legally, yeah, legally, but they block a lot, they block those off. And what they do, the police, is if they see anybody parked, yeah, along this road, even if they're not on the double yellows, yeah, be they temporarily classify that area for the Knights of the Solstice as a no parking area, even though the double yellows only extend so far. So guess what? The people who think, oh, I can park not on the double yellows and be safe, because if I park on not on the double yellows, then I'm not doing anything wrong. But you are, because Wiltshire Police have temporarily for that night designated it as a fuck you because we're going to tow every single vehicle we see. So you get out of your car, you walk away, and when you come back, your car's gone. You think it's been stolen. The police tell you, uh, don't know, don't know, and they stall you, and they go, no, don't know if your car's, no, no, oh yes, is it a car? We don't know about your car, do we? We don't know about a car, do we? Uh, anybody know about a car? No, who don't know about a car? Um, Oh, and they keep you fucking guessing and waiting. I've seen it happen to people. They keep people stalled and wondering whether their car's been stolen. And eventually, hours later, they will tell you, Oh, actually, yes, we, we towed your car. We towed your car, and it's going to be £180 to get it back. And guess what? If you don't pay that £180, we get to keep the car. And every day we keep the car, we charge you more and Watley's gets the money. And we're not telling you where your car's stored, so you can't complain to anybody, and you can't complain to us, and you've come a long way to the solstice, uh, solstice celebrations, and now you're trapped. You have to take a bus home, a train home, a taxi home, but you're definitely going to have to get a taxi all the way to Pusey, which is where the cars are actually stored, if anybody's interested. They're actually stored at the Watley's yard in Pusey, yeah? So you have to find somebody who will give you a lift, with, to Pusey, which is about seven miles away, yeah, and a taxi at that time of night from Avebury to Pusey is going to cost you, I would say, about 30, 40 quid. So it's going to cost you 30 or 40 quid to get to Pusey, right, and it's going to cost you 180 quid cash, cash or credit card, and it'll have to be confirmed, no checks, the money has to be in their hands, and then you get your car back, right, and the police let people park their cars there, they let them park, yeah? They let them park, they watch them, and they let them walk away, and they watch them walking away, and when they've walked away, they go, come and get a car, and up comes Watley's, and they've got seven vehicles ready and going, and they've got vehicles waiting, and they're like, ready, here's another one, right, jump, gone, car gone, and here's another person parking up, do 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 do, they're parking up, ready, and here we go, and get that car, gone. And do you know how many cars it was estimated they did? One year? 120, I think they said 120 cars in one night at 180 pounds. Let's work that out, right? How much money that costs, right? So it's 180 times 120. That's 21,600 pounds made by Watley's in one night, yeah? And the, you can bet your bottom dollar that Wiltshire Police actually take some of that in, uh, in commission. So 